Hello Capricorn and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I'm so happy you're here with me today. This is your career money and finance reading for November. We're going to get right into your reading, but we're going to start with uh, some messages. Let's find out what the overall theme is that's happening uh, for your career money and finance for the month of November. Remember, this is a general reading. Take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. And of course, if it resonates, please leave comments. I love connecting with your energy. I truly appreciate all the love and support. Thank you very, very much. So let's get right into this. Let's find out what the uh, energies are around you with regards to that money, career, and finance. So spirit, angels, and guides. For month of November for Capricorn, what are the messages you would like to share? There we go. Looks like you out with the old and in with the new energy. I got six cards here. We're going to do six cards. I, uh, I love the energies here. Wow. This to me is the, uh, this is the way this, this 10 of swords is the middle of your reading. This is how we are going to do this reading. All right. We are, I'll just read them all out to you. So you know what we're talking about here. You got number 14 temperance. Uh, you have a couple of major arcana cards here, meaning that there are things uh, really balancing out for you here. But the temperance, we're starting with that temperance card there. We've got number seven, the chariot, very much cancer energy. In the center of your reading, you've got the ten of swords. It means that there is something that is coming to a close. There is an ending of something. And I think that this ending is what is bringing something pretty phenomenal for you because I see right in your reading alone here, we've got two tens and an ace, meaning we are closing out some sort of chapter and we are beginning something new. This ten of pentacles is uh, financial abundance. It's what we're all striving for. Uh, it's really feeling um, a great um, a great sense of abundance around you financially. Then you've got the seven of cups and the ace of wands. I think there's a lot of choices around you right now and it's like you've got to choose wisely because again, with that ace of wands energy, we've got something uh, new, an opportunity that's coming in for you. And it's an opportunity. It's kind of out with old energy, new with uh, in with new. For some of you, again, I, I'm feeling like there could be some changes with your job and it could be really, again, up. It's, it's positive change. Let's get right into the reading, starting with the beautiful temperance card. Uh, number 14, this is very much Sagittarius energy. This is trying to blend your world together very harmoniously. And I think that you are trying to find balance in your life. I think it's all about divine timing. Sometimes things have to take time in order to unfold. You could be waiting on something right now and you are just trying to blend it all together until you get the results, until you, you feel, um, it, I almost feel as if there is an opportunity that's waiting for you and you are just waiting for the timing to be right. And you really feel that this opportunity is something that's going to take away um, any fears that you've, like if you've been having fears around change happening, you know, I, I feel like this is going to release you from all of that. I, I just feel like there's just a lot of balance being restored for you at this time, Capricorn. So finances, if they have been a little bit kind of back and forth a little bit, this temperance is really starting to blend it all nicely together for you. I think that you are in a very positive position here to be, to make, to be making some choices. And I think that you're really trying to get information to, to choose wisely. The, uh, the seven, the chariot is a very determined, ter determined, uh, person. All right. And again, it can be very much cancer energy. Uh, intuitively, I think that you have a lot of messages that could be coming to you intuitively. It's almost as if you know exactly the direction that you need, you know, the things that you have to do, uh, whether, whether it is, closing a chapter out, ending something. So for some of you, maybe you are ending a job. Maybe you're moving, maybe your life uh, path is changing and you are closing out your work life and you are moving now into the retirement phase, which you have built a lot of strength for. So now you are in a whole new phase of your life. For others of you, it really could be that you have decided to make a whole career change. And I see that that change is something that is circulating around you, but it's something that you are very, you've been very determined for this. It's almost as if it's an opportunity that you've been waiting for. And you, you it's, I guess the best way to say it is it's an opportunity that you're not, that until you get the information that you need about this new opportunity, you're, you aren't going to close out any cycles in your life until you know that opportunity is secure. 
And I think that you are moving in a beautiful direction here because this is, again, this is victor a victory that is through your own sheer force, will, and strength. You are so determined. It's You are on a mission here, and this mission is to create something new in your life. You are ready for a certain part of your financial life to come to a close. For some of you, you could be waiting for something. Maybe there is something that's wrapping up for you, and once you're able to let that go, which is that Ten of Swords, it really is the center of the reading. Uh, everything kind of depends on this, this, this part of your life that you need to let go. Because when you're able to actually, you know, um, say goodbye to this. And again, we see that there's mountains on each side with the swords. Uh, again, so it could be that it was an obstacle or a challenge of some sort. That That is an ending. And it, it, it's an ending that actually brings you a lot of financial abundance. So I see a lot of wealth here. I see a lot of money. I see almost like leaving a legacy. Uh, for some of you, it could have something to do with an inheritance of some sort. This is you, you and your stability. If there is an opportunity that is presenting itself for you, because I do see new energy, I see old energy going away here and I see new energy emerging. And it's, it's energy that is, um, you know, it's really bringing you a lot of choice. So I think that the choices are yours. This is why you have to choose wisely. You must stay determined. Your determination will definitely win the day for sure. And I think that you know, you know intuitively what you need to do. And for some of you, it really is having to end a certain chapter. And you're feeling strong about it because you, your resources, it's as if this ending is something that's going to bring you more financial stability. And it could be a lot of, uh, uh, it could be a position that's going to bring you really, to be honest, it's really going to level you up so, so much that it's going to bring a lot more structure, but a lot more financial gain. With the Seven of Cups, again, this, this can be a confusing time because I think there's a lot of choices that are presenting themselves for you, Capricorn. So November is going to be a busy month because I think you are going to have to be making some decisions. There is an energy around you with that Ace of Wands that it's kind of out with the old and in with the new. So there's new energies that are coming in. All new opportunities are being offered. And I think the opportunity is a lifetime wish fulfillment. I'm actually going to get one more card. I'd like to get a card for that center one, for the Ten of Swords, please. Yeah, see, you have the strength. Look at that, number eight, Leo energy. You are very protected at this time as well. Uh, this, you you have the strength. So again, you have the strength not only with the chariot, because that is about, uh, that is really about, um, I'm feeling a lot of self-worth and a lot of confidence in, in your reading here. So I think that whatever, you know, whatever changes are taking place around you, uh, for some of you, maybe there, there's a job or a career that's restructuring. And, uh, you know, there could be, for some of you, you could be receiving a payout from that that's going to be quite lucrative. And, and it's going to be able to help you start something new. And there will be opportunities attached to this. So even though it feels like something's ending, there's also this beautiful, fabulous, fabulous new beginning. And with that 10 of pentacles, financially, things are actually really balancing out really nicely for you. And you really are feeling a great sense of peace here. There is a lot of victory here, uh, but the victory comes with the chapters of something closing. And you are very well prepared for this. This is not like it's an unexpected thing. I think it intuitively, you have been waiting for this to happen. And you feel very strong, very determined. You also have this great sense of confidence about yourself. You don't feel alone. Again, you know, not only are you feeling inner power, but you know that, that the outer forces around you are working with you and gelling with you to give you the strength that it is to close out that chapter because with these two tens and then this beautiful ace of opportunity, it's like out with the old energy and in with new energy. You also got two sevens as well. So you do have some, some energy uh, numbers that are, are, are around you as well. So please keep those in mind. Let's clarify these cards a little bit more with the yin yang oracle. Let's find out some further messages that might give us a little bit more explanation as to what's happening with the career money and finance for you, Capricorn, for November. Got one. Maybe we'll get four. Maybe one more. Is there? And there is one more. There it is right there. All right. Look at you, you've got, you have got some beautiful cards and you see the first card here 
is change and courage. So change, yes, things are closing out, things are ending, cycles are closing out, but it's not unexpected. You have the courage for all the change that's happening around you because it's bringing you a lot of prosperity. So this is, this is positive change. Uh, and again, so with this change that's happening, you have a great sense of courage. Truth and expression. So I think there's a lot of truth coming out here and I think the truth is really what's helping um, you express yourself as well. With truth and expression, I feel like you are able to communicate things on a much deeper and much better level as well. And by, a be by being able to be truthful with yourself or to those around you is what really helps to create that beautiful balance of, of, um, of happiness as well. And you know, when we feel financially sound, it can also make our life feel a lot more balanced as well. So truth and expression, you are in a very communicative state right now and that's what's helping to push things through for you as well. Now we've got some conflict, some triggers and some disharmony. Of course, that can have a lot to do with the 10 of swords. Nobody likes to th see things come to an end, but sometimes that trigger, sometimes you know that conflict, uh, if we continue to hold our strength and we continue to hold our integrity and we do things uh, in the right way, uh, it really actually, that conflict, we can put the, we can close that door. And I think you have a lot of strength behind you right now. You are making good decisions with that, with that, um, that chariot card. You're making excellent decisions for forward movement because the chariot only looks towards the, the future. Like they're moving forward. They never look back. Avoidance and stalemate. Again, that can, uh, you know, you could, sometimes I think you feel like you're at a standstill. That could be what the conflict is. Maybe sometimes you feel like the change isn't happening fast enough for you. But what is beautiful, what comes after that, where you're, you know, where you might be feeling like things have kind of been at a, at a stalemate. And that could have a lot to do with that Seven of Cups energy. Uh, the Seven of Cups is really feeling a state of confusion because there's so many choices, so many options, and really not sure how to focus your energy onto what it is you want to achieve. Uh, you could be feeling a little bit at a standstill, but there is a celebration. There are gifts that are being, you know, that, that are coming your way and it's really showing a lot of abundance. These gifts could be gifts of a really leveling up. It's the opportunities that are being presented to you. And of course, the choice will always be yours, but we are seeing a lot of celebration here as well. Sometimes we need to be at a stalemate. Sometimes we need to be at a standstill because it helps us to really uh, express ourselves honestly really to get to the honest, uh, be honest with everything. Uh, and whatever it has been triggering us, uh, you know, sometimes it really, that trigger, that conflict is what helps us put closure to something as well. We've got a lot of change happening, but it's positive change, positive change forward, leading to you, leading you to a lot of uh, financial freedom and financial strength. All right, let's get your career and life oracle cards. If we could get four cards, for the beautiful sign Capricorn. Let's find out what's happening for Capricorn. There we go. You see you've got, oh my goodness, they want you to have all of those. All right, Capricorn, so a lot of these came out for you. So let's start with the first one here. You got great match. So you are on the verge of finding the perfect work for you. Bringing balance, right? Bringing that balance. Don't give up. You may need to grow your own business to be ha truly happy. Maybe that's what this change is. You know, that you're ending something with that 10 of swords, but this 10 of pentacles, you know, you've built up enough financial resources that now you can open up your own opportunities. Maybe the opportunities that are being offered to you are opportunities for self-employment. Again, so great match right now. The world is your oyster. There's offerings, which we know with that Ace of Wands. So you will be offered a new position or investment opportunity. So think about it and research it carefully before accepting. And that really comes to, you know, make sure that you are expressing your own truth. Uh, you know, that way you can avoid triggers. You can avoid conflict. Don't avoid uh, getting a lot of information because once you get all that information, especially if it's a new position of some sort, uh, by, by getting to the truth of everything, you're going to see a much, uh, much, you're going to see the gifts. You're going to see the celebration. You're going to see the, uh, the abundance protection. We know that you are protected with that beautiful strength card. You are being protected from deceit and from situations that no longer serve your life. That's that 10 of swords, your protection. Those two cards together are this card. The strength that you have is protecting you from anything around you, from situations that may have been causing some sort of conflict. Uh, they don't serve you anymore. So it says lie low for a while and you will be shown the truth. Again, you will be shown the truth. 
and that's exactly what's going to help you to prosper. Connections are going to be very, very important for you. So build bridges between people. Contact those who can help you. Your actions set you up for the next opportunity. There is a great match here and it could have something to do with the connections and people around you. And it's all about timing. It says it's all about timing right now. It says, um, it says, you know, actually it wants us to pull another card. I'm going to pull one more card with that to find out what this perfect timing is, if it will give us a little bit more information. So Spirit Angels Guides for the beautiful sign Capricorn. The timing card, what would you like to share about this timing card? One card, and it says Harmony. So it's important for you to have a quiet, peaceful work atmosphere in order for you to thrive. Working at home or for yourself is best. See, I think the timing for you to create that harmony, and harmony is that temperance card, I think for some of you, the change that is happening really has a lot to do with you branching out onto your own somewhere. Now, for some of you, maybe it's not, um, maybe you're not completely going, uh, you know, at it by yourself, like, like an entrepreneur, but maybe you're working from home. You could be working from home and, you know, taking, taking the responsibilities, uh, of, of doing everything from your home location. Uh, and again, having that peaceful work atmosphere is what's really going to help you thrive. The timing is actually right for you right now because you are creating that balance and harmony for yourself as well. All right, let's get your final card. This is your angel number. And you got expansion. So things are expanding for you. Again, opportunities are expanding and they're bringing you to your 10 of pentacles. 333, three, three, trust in your abilities and embrace opportunities for growth and expansion. And again, I really feel like that you've got a lot of strength here. Although there could be something ending, it's opening up the doors for something so, so incredible for you. And it's going to expand you in ways that are going to be so financially abundant. Uh, you you are no longer going to stay, uh, avoid, um, you know, you, you, you're not going to avoid the opportunities that are being presented for you because there's a lot of offerings around here for you. Remember that 333 is a very important number. But I also want you to keep in mind the tens and the ones because those are also very important because again, I think there's parts of your life that are kind of closing, you're closing that certain chapter and a new opportunity. Old energy is, is kind of out and this new revitalized energy and offerings and opportunities are, are coming in for you. So November is going to be a very, very prosperous month for you. And no, November is the number 11, so gateways opening for you as well. All right, Capricorn, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope that it resonates with you. If so, leave comments, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.